Well, this is a demo of our LCD screen, and it wouldn't be very interesting if it just said something like Hello World like that. Um, so I thought I'd add a twist to it and do some uh, horizontal scrolling. And uh, yeah, so you can get a lot more data when you do that. And then there's uh, vertical scrolling like this. And yes, you could do that a word at a time, uh, separated by, you know, you can use a space uh, to separate the words, something like that. And then this one is split across both lines. Um, and there, you know, there's several other options. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what this software is going to do for us. This is the circuit diagram to directly connect the LCD screen to the Arduino. As you can see here, this is uh, the five volt line from the Arduino. It comes down here and connects to the VCC on the LCD screen. Here is the Arduino ground coming down here to connect to the ground on the LCD screen. And the, probably the two most important lines are the data and clock. So this comes from the A4 pin and comes down here to the SDA on the screen. And then this is the A5, which is the clock, coming over here to the SCL, the clock line on the LCD screen. And that's pretty much it. This is the software that's driving the demo. This is written for the Arduino in C. I am using a 2x16 LCD display. I understand it'll work on 3.3 volts. I haven't tested that. I'm using 5 volts. The A4 line is connected to the SDA. That's over here, as we saw over here. And the A5 is connected to the clock line right there. The first thing is to include the wire library and that allows us to, to utilize the I2C library. And the next thing is to get the liquid crystal library and include that. This line allows me to define the address and this is the default address for this particular one and I tell it that it is 16 by 2. So that's the I2C address, columns and the rows. And the next thing is a character array so that I can store the values that I'm going to display. Uh, in this case, it's the daisy daisy, give me your answer, do, three lines in a space. The next one is an integer, string size, and it is the size of this data input. So I can vary this data input, input and the program will update itself, if you will. It'll, it'll uh, calibrate for changes in size to that string. The next one down here is the setup as required by the Arduino. And I initialize the LCD and then I turn on the, the backlight. My next routine is just something I wrote to clear the lines so I can send a row. So it's either zero or one. And then I can clear that by uh, putting blanks over it, uh, by putting spaces over it. This routine has the examples from the demo. And the first one, it just displays everything all at once. I clear both lines. I set the cursor to the zero, zero position. That's column and row. I print hello world, then I move it down to the next line and I print this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, and I delay for two and a half seconds. The next one is to scroll sideways on the top line and again I clear both uh, of the uh, lines and then I go from I equals 0 to the string size and this is the uh, to increment the I value and I set the cursor at 0, 0 and then what this does is this allows me to start at the ith position of the data input and I print it. So yes, like I said here, I write uh, the array from position i onward and then I delay uh, 200 milliseconds and then I go back and I repeat this uh, until I reach string size. The next one is scrolling up and that was the one where it scrolled down the left side, or scrolled up the left side. And what I did here is I, again, I went from I equals zero to the string size minus two. And that's because there are two lines and I have to clear those two lines at the end. And then this is the increment. 
I start on position 0, 0 and I print a data input of I and then I set the cursor at the, the next line, the second line, and I print I plus one, I delay, and then I just start that uh, cycle over again. This next one is just uh, using both lines, so I split the, the uh, array across both lines. So again, clear it, start at the top position, stop top left position, and then I print the data input plus zero. The plus zero is not really necessary. I just did that to remind myself. And then I set it on the second line. And then I print uh, data input plus 16. It would be smarter if I did something like uh, uh, the cursor size or something. But if I made this a variable, in other words, that would be the smarter thing to do. But anyway, this is uh, uh, the grabbing the 16th position from the array. I delay two seconds and that's it. And this is the main routine that just loops through this example and it delays one second every time it does the, uh, the loop through. And that's it. So uh, some very simple ways to scroll your data, uh, get more out of your small LCD screen. Uh, and that's it. Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your Arduino programming.